So, lag, if we can maintain the angle formed between the golf club and the forearm a little bit longer in the downswing, we're probably going to be able to generate a little bit more speed that's going to help us hit the ball a little bit further. In many cases, this would be correct. In the backswing, so if I take my trail hand off, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some wrist cock, create a little bit of an angle here, some forearm rotations, and I'm going to rotate my forearm to move the golf club into this position. Two things that happen in the backswing. The wrist will set and the forearm will rotate. We have to hold both. At this point in the downswing, don't really look as if they've held that angle a huge amount. Focus very much more on the forearms and far less on the wrists. This is definitely gonna help you perform better on the course. A Little bit less wrist angle, but great alignment with the club is far more useful than maintaining this and having the club at head. And I want you to feel like as you're making your downswing, the club head is staying behind your body for as long as you can. When we keep that club head behind your body, that's maintaining that rotation in that forearm.